What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction with your boy Isaac, man. And uh, my bad, y'all. Uh, today, as you can see by the title, man, we have She Is Awful. I don't know why we got a picture of Tupac right here. I don't even think he got nothing to do with the video. But, <laughs> anyways, man, I digress, man. We have She Is Awful by my boy Jamari, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him, man. But, um,. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be talking about uh, Juice World girlfriend. Um, and I'm not really caught up on all the drama and, you know, the Juice World lore and all that. Shout out to uh, Juice World, though, man. Rest in peace, man. He definitely was one of the best young and up and coming artists, man. Rest in peace to Juice, man, for sure. But, uh, yeah, man. His title makes it seem like she was just like the worst person in the world, man. So, uh, the video ain't that long, man. So, ain't no point in sitting here wasting time, man. We're going to hop straight into it. As always, if you're new to the channel, man, make sure you scroll down. Hit that like button, man. Subscribe for more. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you also head over to my main channel and check that out. It's just Isaac, I-S-A-A-C, man. You know what I'm saying? Pranks and everything over there all the time. Let's do it. <laughs> A deals with putting out their unfinished work from said artist after they pass away. When you look at someone like Mac Miller, his family has put on a masterclass in these efforts, releasing only one album That's from his piece, catalog man. that he was already working on before he passed away, despite Mac having thousands of unreleased songs. Mac's family has also celebrated. I hope it ain't a lot of copyright like music type shit in this video, bro life throwing events to commemorate him getting some of his lesser mainstream music onto streaming platforms by getting sample clearance and giving those songs amazing visuals and doing so as well so mac is an example of everything that could be done the right way after an artist dies and to me rappers like xxx tentacion and juice world have been done so painfully wrong by former friends managers and really the list goes on specifically today though i will be focusing on juice world and one of the main people to do him wrong has been his fiance who goes by ali lottie who met juice only a year before okay, his death okay, in 2018. Okay. from the start it was apparent that this chick was pretty much just a rap groupie bouncing around Wait, what else is that? from the start it was apparent that this chick was pretty much just a rap not blank your boyfriend anymore i'm with your favorite rappers what was this not fucking your boyfriend anymore okay be bouncing around from smoke anyone know someone in new york city to tattoo me in perp right now let me know oh. to offset to offset, trippy red trippy and other rappers red. before she ended up Damn. with juice to me when a woman is going after multiple people within that. industry that is a huge red flag above that this woman apparently had some serious criminal charges under her belt before they even met and the other thing is when Damn. juice first started blowing up she didn't even like this man's music and even mocked his breakout hit lucid dream and this is why I can't listen to the f***ing radio. I need to stop rappers. You have a small dick. A career in cybersecurity is definitely possible. When I came fuck? here to ECPI, they pretty much... <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Uh, groupie confirmed, man. Groupie confirmed. Juice, why did you cuff this? Why did you cuff her? Like... I'm like, I'm genuinely asking, why would you cuff her? She said, here saying, like, she's mocking your breakout hit, bro. Like, I don't know if he said this was before they was together or whatever, but even still, one, that shows that she's not a fan of your music, bro. Like, or at least she wasn't a fan of that song, at least, and she sat there and mocked it. So for her to be in your face now, oh, y'all together, she's so in love. She probably acting like, oh, I love your music, da 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 I don't know, man. That shit just feel fake, bro. Like, eh. Juice, I wouldn't have cut this. I ain't gonna lie. Did, did... I don't know. He couldn't have known about this video. I was about to say, did you know about this video? Was this, like, a viral? Like, I don't know, man. But, me personally, I wouldn't have, yeah. I wouldn't have probably did this one, Juice. <laughs> Regardless, these two were apparently in love, and one of their shared interests in their relationship seemed to be doing drugs, especially Percocets. 
which as we all know would eventually take Juice World's life on December 8th of 2019 when he was flying from California to Damn, Chicago in his private plane and like got word that the feds would be ago. waiting on him at the airport. Of course, knowing that he had these perks, several bottles of prescription codeine, reportedly over 70 pounds of weed, was and guns on board, he felt... That nigga has 70 pounds too. Hold on. Prescription codeine, reportedly over... He had, he had a drink on him. Okay, so he had six bottles of drink, three poles, and 41 bags. Damn, man, he had the, uh, he had pills, didn't he? Isn't that what he OD'd on? Like, he tried to, the story I heard, y'all, y'all let me know if I'm wrong, because I could be wrong, so don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't take my word as bond, but what I heard was, he was on a plane, the police was about to search it, and he had drugs and all that, so he swallowed the pills and all that, and it was a bunch of pills, and he died because he couldn't take it, right? Is that the story? If it's not, let me know what uh what really happened, y'all. But that's what I heard that happened. Well, I guess, actually, okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense then, y'all. So if this is what they discovered, then yeah, it's probably that because he probably swallowed the pills, but... There's no way he swallowed all of them. That's crazy, y'all. Uh, all at once. Damn, bro. Stay off drugs, y'all. Don't do them. It ain't worth it, man. It's not worth it. Pounds of weed was and guns on board. He felt like he was completely screwed. This is when he decided to drink an estimated pint of lean, as well as pop twenty pills, which would lead to his uh, eventual about, OD. Uh, I thought. Okay, nine minutes inside the Atlantic. I was about to say, Airport, I knew he popped now obviously Juice World did not have the right people around him, and that's been even more apparent after his death, and though it has now been over four years since that day, his that's legacy has piece, lived man. on through his cult-like fan base. Bro. And for a couple of those years, this woman was definitely celebrated by that fan base as the muse who inspired some of his best songs, and she was kind of seen as their queen who was left widowed. And it wasn't until around two years ago now when the narrative started to turn on her, first when she began to insinuate that his death was not due to an overdose, and that there was some foul play involved with his autopsy that she was legally obligated from discussing. Oh, well, well, you guys think he died from a drug overdose? Bro, didn't she like, I don't know, that, maybe I should be quiet. Nah, I'm gonna say it anyway, because we gonna find out in a few minutes. But, I recently seen some shit about her, like, leaking their old, like, sex tapes and shit. Like, he, if that's true, that's crazy. Like, he's dead, bro. Let the man rest in peace. That's kind of crazy, y'all. Uh, if that's true. But he might talk about it in his video, so fuck it. You're wrong! You're wrong! Literally! You're wrong! So suck a dick! Okay? Suck a dick! There's a lot of shit y'all don't know! Now fans didn't really hate on this as many conspiracy theorists already thought that this might be the case. Though I would say that in the end, most people did not believe this narrative from a mumbling addict. And I would say the big blunder that she <laughs> made was starting OF page, which was originally addict. promoted as a place where fans could see exclusive, unreleased Juice World content. And obviously, putting this behind a paywall where only she would benefit did not sit right with fans who grew angry at the situation, so eventually she would turn this Money into hungry, a typical man. thoughty page of herself. Combine this with an incident where she apparently gave a new boyfriend Juice World's Rolex, and he was also pictured wearing one of his old jackets. And that was enough for most people nah, to turn on crazy. her. It also did not help when her and this. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> nah, that's crazy, bro. First of all, first of all, okay. Listen, if this was, okay. <laughs> Let me frame it like this, man. If this was a regular nigga that you was with, that would be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yo, reg you know, he's a regular nigga, but he's your boyfriend and shit. And he passes, he passes away. Were they together? It's even more crazy if they were. she was at the scene when he died. But I don't know. But uh, anyways, he passes away, your boyfriend. And however long later, you get into another relationship and you give your new man his jacket and his what else? Get like, bro. That's not crazy, y'all. <laughs> Yo, the nerd, cuz. That's insane. 
it's even more insane because like your ex was an icon. Like your ex was literally an icon. He was a legend. Your ex was Juice World, bro. Like what? Like what are we talking about right now? Like you telling me your ex was Juice World, like, and you sat there and gave his shit away. Like if he was alive, his things are valuable. But he's gone. Like, he passed away. So his things are even more valuable. One, and as the girlfriend, they should be super valuable to you. They should, like, you can't even put a price on it. You should want to keep all of it, right? As a, as a girlfriend, that's so in love. But you telling me, you, man, you done gave the man shit away. Man, look at her face, man. man. That just pissed me off. I ain't gonna lie. That's crazy, yo. That's so crazy. Boyfriend would get locked up together, and it was clear this was someone who was not to be trusted. Now, even with all of that being said, all of those things that she had done up until that point were kind of like characteristics of who she showed herself to be while Juice World was still alive. So can you really blame someone for continuing with their tomfoolery? I do not know. But now it's gotten to a point where this girl, Ali Lottie, has Can't really hit an all-time low. Oh, no, 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 Okay, I don't know where I read B at, but it says getting, okay, she probably put getting fucked by my ex. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, y'all. Yeah. It comes to disrespecting the life of her there. deceased boyfriend. And of course, she did it through her degenerate OF page. So she apparently sent this message out to her followers over there on OF, smashing my famous ex, hackers are trying to threaten me to leak my old tape with my ex fiance Juice World. I don't give a fuck anymore, fiance. I'll leak it myself. It was, uh, it's been a long time since I've been banged rough with some BBC like this. I'm so mad that I'm adding every nude I ever sent him. I know you will at least enjoy it. I can't believe I'm actually sending this, but I can't be threatened anymore. And as you guys can see, there is a uh, preview there that I had to censor. And she is asking these fans yeah, for $30 to, for to receive $30 these for exclusive one images and videos. Do y'all niggas really be buying that type of shit? Like, do y'all really be paying for that shit? Who done bought OnlyFans in this motherfucker, man? Hey, who who watching is that done bought OnlyFans, bro? Because I don't know however many views this finna get. I, I really don't know. I don't care that. I feel like at least one of y'all niggas watching this done bought OnlyFans before. <laughs> Explain it to me, man. Like, listen. We all here right now. We a family. You know what I'm saying? Listen, ain't nobody else gonna hear about this. You know what I'm saying? Explain to me why you bought OnlyFans. Explain to me your your benefit, your real benefit you got from seeing that girl on the screen and paying money to do it when Pornhub is free, first of all. And second of all, women are outside in real life if you get out of the house. Explain to me why you did that. <laughs> and explain to me also, is this the type of shit? Hold on, hold on. I, don't, I forgot where I placed myself. I think I'm right here. Is this the type of, I don't know. Is that price, <laughs> excuse me, y'all. Is that price the type of shit y'all would be paying for, like, for one post? That's insane, bro. <laughs> That's insane, y'all. $30. Obviously, assuming this is re for a damn tape. And that her page hasn't been hacked or something like that. This has to be one of the most downright disgusting things so I've crazy, ever seen bro. someone online do, especially in the name of just making a quick buck. Yeah, we didn't even talk about how morally like wrong it is that she actually posted that shit instead of letting the man just rest in peace. You know, we didn't even get into all that. So like this post specifically, if you bought this, you're kind of crazy. Like that's kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. Like y'all niggas is crazy for that. Obviously, with Juice World being gone, he cannot contest to any of this. And if this is all real, I smell like a major lawsuit in her future. And to make the situation yeah, worse, she honest. apparently hit up all these different Twitter pages, who at this point are known for promoting different girls' OF pages through some money under the table. 
and told them to promote this tape, even telling them to reply that Juice ain't deserved this shake my head, which pretty much would drive more and more engagement. She apparently responded to all these different tweets, which is like a common OF girl move with the apparent link to her OF page. Where she says, you know where to find it. They I mean, when I first saw this, I truly could not believe that Twitter. someone who apparently loved Juice World, or really someone who loved anyone who has passed away, would do something so disgusting. I mean, obviously their relationship was not the best, with them likely enabling terrible behavior, <laughs> Yo, terrible habits. Funny, but even bad. with that why being said, why can't clip, you just huh? lay low? I'm sure she's already making a lot of money off of her OF page. And the only reason anyone knows who she is in the first place is because of Juice World and because he happened to pass away while they were engaged. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm sure oh, she's so already made millions okay. off of his likeness, most likely. And so this is just wildly disrespectful. And this is actually Indeed. what Juice World's main Indeed DJ, DJ Scheme, had to say about this entire situation unraveling. At the end of the day, I just feel like that shit is hella disrespectful. I feel disrespected. I feel like you spitting in my face like you spitting in everybody's Damn. face he came with the energy everybody that was there for you that's facts though it's been the biggest joke ever actually like how could you like why like i don't understand why people need to crash out like what 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 do you gotta crash out about this man gave you everything this man gave you a life everything that's everything facts. that any mo a lot that's of the things facts, that a lot of us have facts, are because facts. of him and him blessing us and what he did for us and you gonna whether it be over like music being a producer whether it be uh, a lover, whatever the f may be, he did a lot for us, not because he wanted us to love him for the things that we did for him, but because he loved to do those things for us because he loved us. I just feel like you, like people throw that shit out the window. It shit hurt my heart, for real. So obviously this whole situation is just horrible. I do wish that more often when these artists pass away, people would really just let them rest in peace and not use their likeness just for all these different little cash grabs. Obviously, during his life, Juice World battled his own demons. There was a lot of stuff going on in the background, but no one deserves something like this. I want to know what you guys think about this entire situation down below. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman, and some other rap news <laughs> out here needs to be covered, so I'm out. Yo, this nigga called himself the Tan Superman. Nah, that's funny as hell, bro. <laughs> Bro, I, I gotta get a nickname or something like that now. It's official. I gotta find me a nickname, man. This nigga say he the tan Superman. I'm the tan Dirty Dan, man. No, I'm not, man. I'm sorry. I take that back. That was ass. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. But, uh, yeah, man, that's gonna do it for this video, man. You know what I'm saying? As always, if you enjoy, man, like, comment, subscribe, man. You know what I'm saying? Scroll down. Hit that subscribe button for me, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned for future videos, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you uh also tune into my main channel, man. Head over there. It's just Isaac. I-S-A-A-C, man. Pranks and everything over there all the time, man. If you like it over here, you're going to love it over there, man. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, y'all. Uh, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. We out.